All right, chat. Rocket blessing time. All right, Make so sure guys, we're gonna good. we're gonna basically stop talking now and only provide um, updates as needed as the rocket heads uphill. But sit back and enjoy. Um, once it gets a little farther away, we'll talk some details. Fifteen seconds. Go baby, go! That's right! Here comes the rumble. that plume expansion chat that is so pretty the atmosphere gets thinner up there and it can't uh, keep the plume the, the fire basically in that pencil thin fire shape and so it expands out like that since there's nine engines on that you get eight on the outside There, we just have Miko. All right, so guys, what you are seeing is the first stage doing its boost back burn to, it's flipped itself around and it is firing its engines again to begin its flight back to Cape Canaveral. The second stage continuing to thrust Dragon up toward orbit and the International Space Station. Wow. I need to breathe. So that's that boost pack. It's still doing the boost pack. You can still see the engines online there. The plume coming out of the back of it. Boost back is how many engines, Chris? Uh, three engines. Three engines on the boost back there. Three so. engines for boost back, three engines for the entry burn, which we'll see shortly as well, and then one for the landing. So it looks like it's shut down. Yep, that's about right. And now you'll see pulses coming out the side just like that, and those are the cold gas thrusters reorienting the booster uh, engine first now, because it will re-enter the atmosphere engine first. And you can actually see the difference between the pitch and the... Oh. Yep. Okay, hold still. And try uh, again we are going to try to track this first stage for you all the way back down to the ground uh, stage two is still flying and still taking dragon to orbit stage two's trajectory is nominal right now um, and that's what we like to hear the um, I can't see it anymore you can't see it anymore yeah, all right well we'll anymore. be able to reacquire it when we do when it, when it does the entry <laughs> now the entry burn now is just just for you guys yep. so you know uh, the entry burn will look like it is taking place directly above us yeah. and then the falcon will look like it is falling right toward us it's a really really cool thing to experience if you are ever here in florida when they are landing a booster back on land you need 
need to avail yourself of coming out to the cave yeah no to kidding. watch it because the launches are Ooh. spectacular the landings are even more so in many ways but um Again, the primary mission is to take Dragon to the International Space Station. And yep. That is continuing on at this point. How long until we have entry burn? Uh, entry burn... Um, a couple minutes. To okay, burn. we'll get this right quick. Look, uh, we were talking about as that rocket took off that the uh, TE, the transport director, would lean back. And you see that tower there. That's what was supporting the rocket. And it's now leaning way back to give that rocket clearance as it takes off. Also, a uh, partially to help protect the things on that tower from the exhaust of the rocket. They lean it back a little bit there. So uh, that is where the rocket was just a short time ago. And we're going to see if we can't pick it up again. Yeah, and go up here to show them the, uh, the contrail. Because yes. the contrail from the Falcon 9 is still there as well. Yeah, so that uh, little squirrely cloud up there <laughs> is the contrail, the exhaust uh, from the Falcon 9 as it was going up. Yeah, as it went through about 30,000 feet, that, that contrail Kidding. condenses. Yep. And uh, keep the camera zoomed out, but aimed right about there, because I think that's about right for, and maybe a little bit further up, but that should be about yeah, right. If we get a plume from Entry Bird, I'll see if I can get it again, but it is way out there. We tried that a long way, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, that was a good, that was really good. That we got amazing. daytime cold so gas thrusters. Yeah, daytime cold gas thrusters. Yeah. Okay. I, we should come up on a trip. All right, so we're looking at the sky, trying to see if we can't find a plume anywhere. Yes, so, so the thing with, with these daytime launches is you lose the booster. Um, when it shuts down, it's burn. There it is, there it is, there it is. Wow! Way right up there. There it is. All right, you should be able to track that all the way in. All right, this is the Falcon 9 doing its entry burn, coming back into the atmosphere. It... All right. And it now it will have a contrail behind it the entire way to the ground at this point. Or it should, if it follows what the others have done. Are you still tracking it, Doss? Oh, yeah. All righty. So, wow. the next thing, this thing is plummeting toward the ground, and the next thing you will see is the engine ignites for the landing burn. And then right about the moment that it lands, you will hear three back-to-back -back sonic booms as this thing touches down. Here it comes. Ooh. Where'd it go? Oh my gosh, that thing is moving. There it is. That was a wobble. What was that? Yeah. That wobbled big time. Here we go. It's rolling. Oh my goodness. What? Oh wow. It's rolling a lot, y'all. Look at that. Come on, baby. Okay, come on, baby. It's still rolling? It is still rolling, yeah. Come on, baby. You can do it. There are the booms. It's very sideways. It's very windy today. There go the legs. Come on. Oh. Come on. Stick it. Oh. It's pretty sideways. Nope. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Wow. It's so windy today. Wow. Okay, so it sounds like what happened is that the Falcon 9 landed in the water. Oh. Um, and so, so kind of what we just saw, let's talk about what we just saw. Okay, okay. The Falcon 9 landed in the water. Um, the Falcon 9s do not target their landing pads. Gotcha. When they come down, they target just offshore for exactly the reason that we just saw today. It is very windy here at the Cape. The landings are still experimental. The right. We didn't get the booster back. Is wow. Fine. The fact that we didn't get the booster back is fine. It doesn't mean anything for the continuation of Dragon's right. mission. Second is stage is still going. Yep. Dragon is still going up to the so, space station. 
the, but they don't target the landing pads for this exact reason. Right. So that if there is a problem with winds, with controllability as they come in, which you could clearly see with the naked eye yep. here today, and Dragon is in orbit. Dragon's in orbit. Dragon's in orbit. So we had separation from the second success. stage. Mission success. Mission Ooh. success. So remember, just because we don't get the first stage back when we try, right. does not mean that it is a mission failure. The mission was to insert Dragon into orbit. The Falcon 9 did that. Right. And, you know, we, we target the ocean for this exact reason.